anything other than, oh, I got it. When can you make it? How good is your team? You want the best team in the world? I don't know. Sandy, listen, I'm going to make a couple calls to a few of your salespeople to see how your phone selling game is. And I want you to do this. I want you to watch this video I'm about to make. If you see something right now and you see something your sales team does and you say, you know what? That is not what I expected of having a great sales team. The way that your team represents you is how well you've led them. I want you to know this. I would love to train your team. So I'm making a couple courtesy phone calls so you can see how they're treating your customers. Check it out. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my number. If you want to reach out to me, I'd love to talk to you. I can teach your guys not to mess up. You're about to crap your pants. Hi. Can I direct your call? Use cars, please. Alex, what's going on, bud? I was going to call and check the availability of a vehicle. Uh, absolutely. Reach 2019 Honda Accord Sport Silver, 31,000 miles. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? You don't ask anybody's name. Do you, by chance, have the stock number or not? You bet, buddy. Anything for you. M, let's see if he gets my name. Ask me how my day's going. You know what I'm saying? Have I had the chance to drive one? Where am I calling from today? Anything other than, oh, I got it. When can you make it? Disappointed! How good is your team? You want the best team in the world? I don't know. You're not trying. Right? It's still here. Yep. Oh, it is here. He's going to set an appointment with me without my name, without getting to know me, without doing anything, right? Do you want to come down and take a look at it? Do you mm -hmm. want to get Am I Nostradamus? Did I just predict this? You still have it? Yes. Yes. Okay, awesome. Well, look, I got a few more cars I'm going to go look at, and then I may get back with you. I just want to see if it's still available. I appreciate you. Looking forward to hear from you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, buddy. All right, we're going to call one more just for you. I'm praying the same guy don't answer. Give me some fresh meat. Hey, buddy, what's going on? I was going to call and check the availability of a vehicle. Okay, it's a it's a 2018 Honda Accord. He hasn't got my name. I know down there we don't care what people's names are. <laughs> Why would we care, right? Why don't I just sit on hold? Yes, that is the stock number. Okay, perfect. So you can't give me any information on the phone. You're going to have to call me back. Yeah, I, I have to go because sometimes, like I said, the internet is not up today. It may be shows, but it's gone. Because we got a few shows later on, you know, today, yesterday. But anyway, so if we have it, I give you a call and say, yes, I have it right here. Come and get it. Simple as that. Did you not walk your inventory this morning? Yes, yes. I see a red one, but it's not a red one. It's a 19. Oh, if you want, you can wait for me and I can walk and let you know. What did he say? Oh. Is that okay with you? Yeah, sure. Sure. Like I'm going to tell you right now, a guy calls on the 2018 Honda Accord. Hope you're having a wonderful day. My name's Andy Elliott. How can I serve you today? Andy, I'm calling about the Honda Accord. Pleasure to meet you. By the way, what's your name? Is this how we're taking phone calls? Don't even get my name. By the way, what do I want to know about the Honda? He didn't even ask. He just says, hey man, hold on. You know what? Let me call you back. Let me go find the car on the lot. I'm going to tell you this. It's 2022. This right here is unacceptable. You spend how much money in advertising to get your people in? How much to get the phone to ring for this kind of call to be taken? The fact that we're not doing training together right now shows me that it's not about how much the training costs. You don't care about training your people or you're okay with this. Guess what? They need training. We never put somebody on hold like that. Never. That car right there, you got too many cars. You don't know how many cars are on your lot. Right now, we're an inventory shortage. I checked out your entire website. This is an easy one. This guy should have walked his inventory this morning and he's out taking phone calls. We'll watch and see what he has to say when he comes back. Okay, got it, buddy. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna look around a little bit and then I'll get back with you, okay? Okay, thank you, buddy. Okay, now listen. I put together a couple simple objections. What's your best price? I like the car, but the miles are too high. I'm just looking around. I have a few more cars to look at. I didn't even get to get to any of the objections because it was an eight minute phone call just seeing if the car was there. 
Now, at the end of the day, their job is to walk through inventory in the morning and be deadly on the phone and be dangerous, know how to serve people. And there was no relationship built between me and this customer.